Hey folks, it's Keith at Don Redwood Groves and today, well, I guess if you see this project, it means I decided to video it. <laughs> uh, we're going to do the sawmill shed. I've uh, been busy, busy collecting timbers, 6x6. Six six. Um, I designed a 15x30 timber shed for the sawmill. Um, I'm going to use four posts on each end and then uh, a king truss style to span the length of the sawmill. Pretty much everybody on the sawmill, it seems like on YouTube, they just do a flat roof and uh, well, I wanted to try something different. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I've been cutting timbers and uh, we're getting ready to start setting things up. Let me show you where we're at. First let me say my sawmill is on a granite rock. That's right, one rock. And so uh, we scraped more of the rock off and uh, what we did is we positioned these 6x6 six six, um, post holders. I seem to like them. They work out pretty good for me anyways. Uh, they're really only five and a half, so I have to notch the ends as you'll see. Um, but this isn't level. So what I did was uh, borrowed a laser from my friend Dan. Thanks Dan, if you ever watch this. and. Uh, we got the height drop for each one of these. So what I could take was my design and then add the distance difference that should keep my roof level and all the pitch everything but just now all the posts adjust for each one of this difference in the rock height. This happened to be the highest spot and of course um, that one there is fairly low. You can see what I did was um, I notched for the bracket all on the inside there's a six by six post or not post beam going to go from this one to the other beam now i'm scratching everything up the six by six uh beam is going to go from this post to the other post and tie in and the same for this one over to that one all right what i got from there is i've got six by eights beams tying to the 6x6 six six posts and I notch everything uh, one inch deep and I'm using timber screws these timber locks eight inches long so what happens is you get um, these going in and screwing in um, it's not very deep on this six this eight inch post or beam, yeah, boy, I'm uh, having trouble today with beam and post, but it's enough to hold it in. Plus, this is locked, and everything gets tied in later. Um, but on the six-inch beams and posts that we'll be using, um, you get good penetration. Um, have really good success with these. Um, I haven't had any break except for when uh, a wonderful delivery truck came into my entranceway and hit the top. Um, Got everything pretty square. If you can look. That's not too shabby for a timber build. And uh, we're going to get ready to try to put this one in that location and that location. I'm going to move the saw down and we're going to try to take the tractor and lift it up and put it in there. So let's see if that works for me. Hopefully it does. I'm doing it by myself. All right. So what I'm using is these timber screws, but for the 6x8s I'm actually using 10 inches. And for the 6x6s I'll be using these 8 inches. So I, uh, I had an error in that and I apologize for that error. But yeah, I knew I had some longer ones. I had to go find them and uh, bought this stuff a long time ago. This is like a year old project I'm finally getting to, thank goodness. But uh, so I put the 10 inch screws in here. And that should give a lot more grip and uh, keeps me sleeping better at night. So let's try to see get this thing up and in place. All right, off camera, I uh, oof, huffing and puffing. I tried something different. Uh, that didn't work. I couldn't get the tractor in position. Um, busted the. Uh, uh, post off of that side 
stretched over here and I've actually cracked my notch a little bit. I think I can still keep it, I'm hoping. So anyhow, what I'm trying is something different. It's not what I recommend, but I put this beam in, or this post and this post up, and then I put these two beams tied, it, ratchet strapped together. Um, found another error in my calculation. Somehow I notched all these seven inches, not six inches. <sighs> Those will get cross-membered in, so it'll be um, okay, but oops on me. Um, I wanted this to be as close to perfect as possible, and hit, that's gone. So what I'm going to try now, I don't know if I'm going to do this on camera, but I'm going to try lifting this thing up with that uh, post in place and try to get it over here, get it up on that, and uh, see if I can get this. L, if you will, post and beam tied together. So wish me luck. I'll let you know if I, uh, you'll know because it'll be in video, but we'll see. Okay, I'm sure we're all off camera going, yeah, Keith, that isn't going to work. It didn't. Uh, busted the one bolt, bent this baby all to heck, and uh, I did finish crack off that rest of that. I figured that was going to crack. I can put a couple of screws in to help hold that in place. Um, it isn't a night, it isn't a showstopper. But what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put these two posts in and I'm going to put the uh, beams for the trusses on afterwards. It is going to be a bite in the butt. Um, hopefully, hopefully I might be able to get some help to help lift these things up and get them into place. I don't know any other way I'm going to be able to do it by myself unless I start just putting uh, shims and get it up so I can do it. So I'm already thinking some ways, but we'll see. So right now I guess I'm going to go back to putting in uh, that post and I might try to get that beam on, get those tied in to help get everything going and then put that post in, tie it to that post and then finally try to get that beam in. Uh, Whew, it is hot. Alrighty, so here's a little update. We've got all the timber put in. Um, all the posts and the beams, cross joists, or cross supports are put in. Uh, trusses are built. I've uh, burned the trusses to try to help the surface treating. Um, it's that wonderful Japanese treatment nobody ever seems to be able to pronounce. Um, this is my version like, like I did on my uh, timber shelter. Um, I went a little deeper on this, a little darker burn uh, to try to make sure I don't feel like tearing these things down again and uh, and rebuilding them. So I guess I went a little deeper so I don't have to go up there and try to treat this again. Um, now the trick. I got the two here for this side. I got the two over there up over there for the other side. That was fun just getting them over there with the tractor. Now, the tractor can't lift them up high enough to put them on the, uh, um, the beams. So, I'm gonna try flipping them up so I can get my forks flipped over so that their forks are higher and see if that'll be high enough to lift them. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put something on the forks again to lift it even higher. So that's what we're gonna try doing. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> 